Here's the thing, the demo from Open Interpreter, the one where they are navigating through the computer using their little audio interface, it's still a work in progress. It's called Interpreter OS and it's available, but it's really buggy. It fails on me all the time. It's also very expensive with GPT-4. With the current version of Open Interpreter right now, I want to see how far I can get by trying to edit a thumbnail. It's one of the least Open Interpreter friendly tasks to do, which is why I want to tackle it to see how far I can get. It's probably going to be downloading a bunch of Python packages and trying to calculate rather than me selecting pixels, editing and changing colors manually. I don't know if I was successful, but I want to try it with two different models, GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 Turbo. This task was too hard with GPT-4 and I didn't even try with GPT-3.5 Turbo. I have organized this folder right here where I have put all my assets that I'll be working with. And mind you, I have already edited this picture in Photoshop myself just so that I would be able to record the steps needed and then I can instruct Open Interpreter to edit it using those steps. We're also gonna see how much each of these models cost to do this specific task. I only have $8.58 on my OpenAI account, so let's see how far I can push this. First, I'll ask it to surprise me with just a random edit. Together. All right, it's installing libraries for us to be able to make this edit, so let's keep going. I did start the four stars completion mode from Open Interpreter just because sometimes it just stops running for some reason, and that really bugs me, especially when I'm trying to make a video. So let's just run with this one. <laughs> the spice aspect, the surprise aspect, was to just flip my image upside down. And I also forgot to specify the dimensions that I wanted this image in. That costed me just one cent so far. Okay, now let's get to the serious business and let's try to figure out what to do for each of these images. The first task for this image would be to remove the background for it. I want you to remove the background for this image. It's gonna convert it to grayscale first. Why? Very interesting procedures. Okay, this is the background removed image. I'm not sure what the computation was done there, but we can try again. So since it has GPT-4, I'm expecting it to be able to at least detect who I am and then maybe use some Python calculation to isolate my position before removing anything else. Okay, it seems to have done Another task. I'm so flabbergasted why it cannot detect me in the picture. Okay, it's asking me to go get an API called remove.bg. We'll do that. Our balance is already down to $7.30 by the way. Okay, just downloaded remove.bg. Here is the API key for remove. BG. Okay, it has been removed using the API now. Uh, let's check whether it was even stored. I think that's the power with Open Interpreter. By itself, it will try to do a bunch of calculations and a bunch of complex Python scripts and arithmetic to try to achieve a task. But if you ask it for the proper API or a proper library that you might know to do a task better, it will go and find it and it will go download the libraries. You can just get an API key and that's when I see that it works best. Now, let's try to do the same removal of background for the other images. Before we do that, let's check the price first of where we're at. Since it had to download the library and it had to remove a background, we're at $6.86 already. All right. It tells me it finished and there you go. All right, cool. Now I f it feels like we have managed to remove the background from both these images. I also have to slap in open interpreter with a yellow background in there as well as combine the background of the lines lines the background so let's try to figure out how we're going to do this so step one took 18 minutes so far and i was thinking step two would be the easier part of just putting the image together but okay finally it has done a very good job i would say okay it combined the two images together but now i just want to move this image a little bit to the left I hope that it's able to identify to use the original files rather than to use the file it just generated. Else it's just gonna be a huge like mess. 
I was trying really hard to move the foreground to the left, but Open Interpreter just crashed on me. I had to restart it. Already at five dollars. Okay. At this point, I also had to reinitialize my plan, and I wanted to specify the foreground from the background so that Open Interpreter could understand better. Only to get back to this. What the hell? Maintain the aspect ratio. At this point, I'm giving baby level instructions for making a peanut butter sandwich. Open peanut butter jar, also, dip knife in peanut butter, remove knife, spread on bread. You get the gist. My thumbnails usually are pretty simple, so I can only imagine if I had way more complications on my thumbnails, how long it would take for this to do. An image. This is looking like a torture challenge for me. I'm also recording this on my iPhone and it's just constantly running out of memory, which is making this so much more painstaking. At this point, I'm just trying to nudge the image to the left a little bit and it's costing me time and money. I've already specified that the foreground image has a transparent background, so it shouldn't be messing with that. The job is complete, eh? Let's see. I can afford it fail for a second, but... <laughs> Okay, nudged it a little. There is there is a difference. Okay, it here are more attempts of me trying to nudge it further to the left, but I realized that I was just doing the same thing over and over again, and it was just costing me money. Add this image as. So I tried the new strategy of just combining all the images together. This new image. I just started to assume that maybe Open Interpreter could do the math automatically by spacing them out evenly on the canvas. Surprised by now, but this is the result. I'm going to lose my marbles. We got five dollars and eighty-six cents lost. Fuck. Parent backgrounds to be preserved. The more I'm feeding it words, the more I feel like I'm just increasing the likelihood that issues are gonna pop up. And I kept feeding that piggy some words, alright. Okay. It did something, it gets us closer to <laughs> how our thumbnail looks like. Since it had figured out by now how to place the first foreground, I gave it the same instructions to place the second foreground. See, I'm hopeful a little. Okay, okay, you know what, I'll, I'll take this dub. This, we got somewhere with this instruction. This was extremely painful, but... We got somewhere, I can still make this work. Obviously the click-through rate for this thumbnail is gonna be abysmal through the ground probably, but this is as far as I was able to get. I'll resume this after dinner. Let's check how our balance is looking like on OpenAI. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've already hit the negative. Let me add 10 more dollars, see how it goes. We're back with $9.71. Now was part to add the text. I proceeded to give it specific instructions about the font and the font size and all that good stuff. Let's see if the text size is 70px. The text is centered. And then I proceeded to get seven minutes of straight errors. Keep an eye on that timer. Also mind you that these errors are also costing me money. I love how in demos, they will always show a simple thing of like, for example, when Devin is having an issue, they'll show that Devin can just debug it very quickly and find a solution. But the reality is more like this. This is so frustrating. It's annoying to sit through it, watch it. I mean, obviously it's supposed to be running in the background and stuff, but the amount of time that it's taking, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm so drained by this whole thing. I had specified for the text to be placed at the center of the top area of the image, but I proceeded to fix so the position. we got this far, but I also forgot to add the orange background behind this text. So maybe let's try to do that first. That covers the text. What I want to do is I want to use like a layering method so that it creates the rectangle and then I can add the text over again. See what you did there, bucko. Oh. Okay, so this was what I was trying to do. And this is what I got instead. 
cool let's see my total of where I'm at cost wise I'm already at seven dollars and ten cents and that took me a whole hour and five minutes this was extremely draining <laughs> beyond means it's insane all right 